Yo ho ahoy, how we doing everybody? Hope we're well. Right then, let's get into this. We are, where are we? Whoa, let's see this. We are champion free, division free. And I'm just gonna see if we can get uh, maybe to div four before I quickly go to work. That would be pretty cool. Get it in. I'm just gonna stick to the same old strategies. The game's gonna be much more explosive now. It is gonna be much more explosive. We're gonna see some stuff we've never seen before. But we might also see some uh, difficulty defensively. I think defensively is where... Ah, what's, the, what's the way I want to say this? Is where it isn't great. Let's just say that. Offensively, everyone looks good. But defensively isn't so good. And we're gonna make it our goal to back the teammate up. That's what we gotta do. We're going to do a team. CRDO. Always gets me nervous when you see a team. I let my teammate take the shot because you just don't know. Could be a carry. Oh, we got a we got a season two GC. So they're recently GC. They've took that. See, they took that corner boost there. So I'm gonna take the mid boost. I'm just gonna put a shot across. There was a great double jump dive from Lid Lidez. Oh, just got an itchy head. See, that's what we want to be avoiding. That was basically gifting a goal there. So we want to go outside and I just try and get rid of this over time. And we're going to push out into the corner. And we're going to take the 50. Because generally the odds are in our favor. I'm not going to be able to chase that. Teammates starting to push up. This is what we see a lot of at this rank. There's a lot of pushing up. I'm just going to have to... Uh, I've missed a save. I've missed a save, yeah. We're just going to have to be real careful. Because, yeah, people are pushing up. So what happens is, you see, by the time... Because they pushed up, by the time they have the ball, they don't, like... It's a bit too late. But I keep missing those saves that just go over my head with the aerials. Uh... I need to really work on that because that seems to happen every single episode. I think a lot of it because it's uh, maybe I'm main the Fennec and this hitbox to the isn't just uh, isn't as accurate. Brilliant play by them there. So teammate came down the same side and sort of looped round. I should have probably gone. But you can see the power of the shot. So they even needed to stay on the ball or cut across so I could go out from the front post. But that's okay. Yeah, you can see the speed. From these two. And there's the mistake. That's what we're waiting for. There is the mistake. We'll get it sooner or later. Here you can see. <laughs> Hello, five. So, again, the teammates just sort of tracing right by the ball there. But at least they left it. But that's where all the difficulty comes. Because you just can't get that outward pressure. This kickoff, I was going to say, looks a bit volatile. Looked a bit slow on the hold. So, we take it now. And it's going to go straight to the teammates. That's good positioning from him. So, we're going to force... Them to make a play. It makes it easier for our teammate there. Who's gone. They've come back in for another shot. That's just off. We're going to quickly go to this boost because they want it. You see them come in there. Teammates off, off ahead. I don't know what they're expecting. There we go. There's one out of the game. Good cover by their teammate. They're backing each other up. They're in comms. So it is going to be tricky. We've got to take our time here. Nice attempt on the flick from the teammate. Well, there's actually an opening down the middle. I just couldn't get the shot off. But this has put him under pressure. I'm just going to pop that nice and high. I'm on the wall. I'm not going for this. I'm not going for this. I'm going to let it go to my teammate. Bit premature there, but that's fine. We're going to hit that because they've gone for a bump. Brilliant stuff from my teammate. Can we put it in? Yes, we can. Great bump from the teammate. Really good. Uh, this is exactly what you like to see. Hey, there's that word. Subnormal again. What the hell? They love the word subnormal, these people. <laughs> Must be the time I'm playing. I'm playing with people who love that word. Sub-zero is what I like now. Subnormal. Sub oh, shame I didn't get that boost. Gotta grab these pads here. That's a good little pinch from them. If they go up, we're in danger. Good save from the teammate. We're gonna go straight away. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna try and flick it over the top. Good speed there on the hunt down. Teammate going for it again. I like it. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna pop. Oh, that was my bad. Yeah. They're coming for the demo. That's good from them. We just need to make sure we're not over oh, overdoing it on these hits here. We, we sort of need to avoid that because it's going to go straight back to them. That's a great dunk. Put a shot towards the opponent just to make them work. Teammate. Sorry, that was my fault. This is re I'm really thrown. That was, that was my fault. That was 100% my fault. As they were rotating, and that's going to be a goal. I don't know what happened there. They needed to back off. But again, they're just smacking the ball away. So defensively, we're having to... Con look at the shot difference. Because we're just smacking the ball away defensively. And this is the biggest problem I see. Is people just smacking the ball. You're getting caved in. 
And instead of like taking your time and trying to do something good with it, you end up just giving the ball away. See how we got to stay close to it? Uh, teammates ran off ahead, so this is great. So I'm back in a 2v1. I'm going to tap it to the side. Hopefully teammates got. Teammates just off. What? And they're just going to pop it. I'm going to take that boost. They're just trying to do too much. We're not going to be able to back them up now. They've gone for a heavy touch. Try to get the demo there. Perfect. This could be an opportunity. They're going to go for a demo. Beautiful. They're good at that stuff. Really good stuff. But they're, they're doing it when we don't always have possession. Like right here. Perfect. Yeah, go for it. Because you've, I've got possession. Brilliant. But they're doing it when we don't have possession. And that's so dangerous. Because it puts me in a 1v1. And I don't have the ball. That's the thing. It's okay if I've got the ball. And I can probably try and make an outplay or something. But if it doesn't work, we're screwed. And if they avoid the demo as well, we're big time screwed. They're going for a high aerial play. We're going to get the 50 from the inside out there. And there we go. We're just going to get that. We're going to take this path. This is my path lane. I missed a few. We're going to wait for the shot. Teammates going for a pre-jump. That's really confusing, but they've popped it up. So look at that. Both up. This is good. This is an opportunity. I've done a real bad hit with that. Can I get around? That was bad from me. I don't know if I can put it across for my teammate. Oh, so close. Oh, I don't believe it. I think they've done the same as me. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? Teammate needs to go. Yeah, that's good from the teammate. Beautiful. And they're, they're challenging super fast. So good stuff from the teammate there on the 50. That 50 was fantastic. Let him take the shot. I've right, got 43 seconds. Can we hold on? Oh, I think we've done it. I think we've done it. Is that in? It's off. It's off. It's off. Damn. It's just off again. We've hit the post again. Right. I'm going to turn on this. I'm going to tap it around the wall. And I'll leave that for my teammate. I've made a lot of mistakes this game, to be fair. Oh, this is, we don't need those balls. We really don't need... Get, get back. Get back. Yeah, we do not need those balls when we're, when we're in the lead. The last thing we want to do is put ourselves on the backboard and make it difficult for the recovery. I'm going to let my teammate take the shot, which is real nice. Good save from them. Team needs to get back. They've gone to the opposite corner, so we've got to wait again. This is risky. We've got to clear that. They've been super, super risky here. They've left a, a 2v1 again. I'm going to go up, try to block the net. Oh my god, I don't believe it. <sighs> Jesus. Really tricky. We get the win, but that was not easy at all. A lot of scary situations to be in. And uh, of course, <laughs> unlucky, unlucky, buddy. But uh, yeah, we, we, uh, we smashed them. So that, no wonder they were a bit upset. They did well. They did well at the start. Did some really good stuff. I was playing really bad at the start. You know, I've just got on. Haven't played for quite a few days, so... Usually takes me a second or two to get it adjusted, and I made a big rotation mistake, which really screwed up Endless, and actually led to a goal that was purely my fault there. So two of those goals out of the three were purely on me. All right, here we go. Oh, and it's getting to that this lovely day again. Um, but my God, it's getting to that sort of hay fever time here. All right, we're back, and we're against the V Sync, and no way. Cool kickoff. Things gonna bounce off the wall. Just going to tap that to the side. And here we go again. And I'm going to come down and let them play it away. So I'm going to go back to this corner because I saw there was boost there. I haven't actually had a chance to get the boost yet. That's fine. It's going to come straight to me. I'm going to tap it. Get a bounce dribble. There they go up so we can see that. That was a bad touch from me. I should have got around the outside. Oh, oh no. I need to add that lag thing that happens. My monitor is really like, commonly turning itself off. So right there. Pretty good play there with the double touch. They, they don't need to stick to this. Like, they, if they're sticking the, to the ball here, it's just going to be dangerous for them. Because they've actually got... V-Sync's got no boost. Teammates just completely telegraphed that. That's fine. So, we're going to... Again, it's it's all about playing around our teammates here. Um, and, and they're in comms. Nice stuff from the teammate. I'm going to get to the front post. That's great. I'm just going to smack it downfield. Nice attempt on the demo. But now, V-Sync again's got low boost. Oh, teammates just gone a little bit too... Too quick. There's no boost down here. Now I'm in a bad spot. I'm in a real bad spot here. Good stuff from the teammate. I've got to try and get a block. Yes, I do. Hopefully, teammate can go. I've got to turn straight away. I don't go upfield in this situation because we haven't got the ball. Okay, we need to just take our time a little bit. I'm going to go up for this aerial, and I'm just going to tap it high. And I do that by hitting the underside of the ball. And it's very important to do that. I'm going to steal boost. I'm looking for my teammate. Teammate's still not back. 
I might have to turn. I don't want to. That's fine. Oh, I thought the teammate would be front post there. I'm going to hit that towards them. Make an aggressive play. Look for a demo. But yeah, we are having a little bit of a nightmare here. He's got to really support our teammate. But they're, they're sort of... They're in a real bad spot. There's the spill out method. Oh, no, no, no. Let's get around the ball. Whew, man, I tell you. This is difficult. This is really unnecessarily difficult. They're, they're half flipping and back flipping right in front of the ball in, in front of the net. Which doesn't make... There's just no need. Alright, we should be able to win this race. They've done a great job positionally. But I thought they were coming in, so I tried to hit it over the top. But straight away, I go back and I'm boosting. I'm stocked up. Teammates done a wall hit, which we hate. We know how much... That's a great passing play. Those are dangerous. Teammate needs to get back. They need to be boosting right now. Nicely done, but they... Send the ball. That's great. Now we get an opportunity. Hopefully they go for the ball, not the boost. So I can grab the boost. A little bit too much again. There's another 2v1. We're going to have a hook shot to center the ball up, though. We're going to be able to steal this boost as well. Look for a few fakes. I'm just going to backflip right there. Oh, unfortunate teammate. Couldn't hit the ball. I'm literally just going to tap it now. Just to put him under pressure. Teammate's going to grab that boost. I'm going to head back. No problem, buddy. No problem. Just, you can see, going for a little bit too much. I mean, this is a season two grand champ. Heavy flick. And they, again, that's a pointless touch. That's a point. It's all it's done is center it up. And they nearly scored off the back of it. Can you just see how unnecessarily dangerous this player's being? There's a fake. I'm going to tap it to my teammate. Hopefully, it can touch that one. It doesn't matter. We're going to grab this. I'm going to grab this. I should have took the ball back with me, but it's bobbling. I didn't want to do too much mechanical stuff. They're looking for a musty. That's fine. Teammate's going to cross. That's okay. We can see them. So, we can push it in. We're going to go for a hook shot. And there it is, baby. The hook shot is still good. It's still good. At a champ free. But you can see we're really having to work now. This is harder to me to play than when we were in Diamond. Because we're still having people do the same, the same crazy stuff, in my opinion. I know people are going to hate me for it. But surely you can see with this sort of watching back technique with this method. Oh, my bad. How, how risky the positions are that we're being left in. I'm going to stay close. I'm going to steal this boost as I go. Teammate came in as well. So that puts us both in the same position. There's a spill out. Here we go. I'm sticking with this. I'm going straight to this boost because they want it. That's fine. I'm going to tap it down. I'm going to grab this boost as well. I'm holding. But okay, never mind. So they've sent the ball straight back up to the opponent. I've got to clear that. And that might be a goal if they don't touch it. There we go. <laughs> the thing is, it's no point saying sorry and then continuing to do mad stuff. Do you see my thing? Stop saying sorry, and instead, just calm down. Just calm down. Well played. And, and just rotate. Think about what you're doing. Don't just dive on any random ball that isn't dangerous. It puts us in a real dangerous position. All right, though. We're doing pretty well today. We are doing pretty well, but we're having to re... I mean, the level of... You have to get everything right. One mistake. If we overcommit too much, it's a goal. Because people are, like, diving for aerials, like, across here, doing all this stuff. And surely you can, yeah, and hopefully it's it's showing now. It's showing that as we're watching back, you can see just the mad things people are doing, the mad unnecessary things. Where if you just rotated in those situations, or you just didn't overcommit, how easy the game would be. <laughs> I really can't stress how easy it would be. We're with another season two grand champ. We're against a look up and twitch five and. I get them to take the shot. So this should be more of an even game, in a sense that we don't have. Uh, players in comms, which we have been having. So they're going to get the outplay. Nicely done from Kamikaze. Again, just trying a lot of stuff. Oh, I've missed a clear. Hopefully my teammates there. Yes, they are. Okay, I missed a clear. Teammate also missing the ball there. Very close. Oh, I really thought I hit that. I shouldn't have missed the ball. I really shouldn't have missed the ball. Put them in an awkward spot. But if they just calm down... We wouldn't be in those spots to begin with. This is what I'm trying to say. It's more about, instead of saving the ball, lovely shot. It's more about prevention. That's that's the thing. It's more about prevention. It's in jujitsu we have it. It's called position over submission. Don't just keep diving on submissions because you'll end up getting like reversed. Take a good position first. It's the same in Rocket League. Position comes first. Hope my teammates front post and they can go. A little bit risky. And we might want to look for a demo as they come up the wall here. They've backed off, so my teammate can take it. The boost also spawns there, but we're going to leave it. I'm going to go back. And again, let's see, what was the point of that? That's the question. That's the question I'd love to know. I'm going to reverse. I'm going to half flip back to the this way so I can face out. And now I can go. 
And there's a long shot. I've missed the net. Again, low percentage chance there from the teammate. So we're just going to roll up the wall and just tap it. That was a bad tap from me, but hopefully my teammate can get back. They've done a real good job there. Oh, that bounced. And they've missed a shot. Right, let's wait for this aerial. It's not going to be too dangerous. There we go. Now we can go up. We managed to get the save. We're here. We're on the ball. We've got no boost. No one knows that. There we go. And they've just smacked it away. If we're going to smack it, it's at least smack it forward. It's fine to smack it forward and get a demo like that. Now we've got an open net. But there's no follow. But that's just power hitting non-stop. That's a brilliant shot. I'm amazed that they've hit that. Nice shot. But defensively, the offense is great. You can see. I mean, look at that. Amazing offense. Great speed. But can you see how dangerous the defense is with all these constant smashes of the ball uh, off the sidewalls and stuff? It literally just centers the ball. We can go for this, and we're just going to tap the undercarriage. I always tap the underside of the ball, and the reason for that is because it's harder for them to get their offense going straight away. They're in a risky spot here. That's fine. We're going to stay close, and we're going to go for the flick. I messed up my flick, but... going to wrap around. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. There we go. Put him in a bad spot. That's what we need to do. I'm here. I'm putting him in a bad spot. I'm going to wave dash down. I'm going to do a power slide turn. I'm going to grab that boost. I'm going to head out. My teammate now has forward momentum. They can challenge the ball, and that's perfect. We know this player has low boost. They want this one. We're going to take that. We're going to move to the side. Ball's in the air. I'm going to go up. I'm going to hit a real bad shot. <laughs> and I've actually set them up. A real bad shot from me. Hopefully, Kamikaze is back. Yes, they are. We've got a great spawn. So we're going to play it out straight away. We get tripped. I'm waiting. Don't need to go for this. There's no risk yet. There's still no risk. There we go for the challenge. And now my teammate is able to back me up like they are. Really good stuff from Kamikaze. Great pass into the middle. We're going to shoot it. I don't think they actually wanted to pass that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, but again, challenging in the corner. So now we're in a two-on-one. We're going to smack it down the middle. Again, I've overcooked it again. But I've managed to steal the boost. They didn't get the mid boost. We see that. We're going to take that. Kami's now got outward pressure. That's fine. Hopefully, they come back so I can get outward pressure. And that's the lovely stuff. Yeah, there we go. They came back fast, so we get outward pressure straight away. Slow the ball down. They're going for the demo. There's the bump plate. Nicely done. So, I'm watching the whole time now. I know the opponent is way out, so we've got plenty of time. Kami's gone for the boost now, and I have to keep the ball grounded. Top, top, top tip where people make a mistake is when they see their teammate go for boost, uh, go for the opponent, they'll do a flick. Don't do that. Because if you do a flick or play the ball high, it actually allows the opponent to get up in the air and um, make a save. And we're going to go onto the back wall. We're going to wait for it. We're going to fake going up onto the scene and we're going to come down. And that forces them to go to the ground. So that's a really good move as well. But yeah, anytime your teammates run in ahead, keep the ball grounded and try and just play it behind them so that they are, literally have a block path to the ball. And that's a nice shot from Kami, putting them under pressure. One minute 20 left. We don't want to overcommit. There's an amazing dunk from Kami. And we're going to fake this because we don't want to challenge in the corner. Look at the reaction we get. And we're going to do it again. And look at the reaction we get. Double commit. That's going to go straight to Kami. They've got outward pressure. Nice attempt. And we put the shot on because we see them going wide. And there's the goal. It's a brilliant little demo from Kami there. And as soon as we see the opponent, look up. Should have stayed still right there, but they went wide. Um, never take yourself off the center line. And that's going to be the game. GG, well played. That was easier than the other ones. Probably because the opponents weren't in comms. So they were making the same sort of mistakes on defense and just giving us the ball back. But you can just see how dangerous it is. Thank you everyone so much for watching this. I would continue on to Grand Jam right now. But I've got to shoot off to work. So I really, really do appreciate it. Hopefully we can get Grand Jam next episode, baby. Let's go. Come on. I'm feeling it. Let's do it. Look after yourselves. Thanks for watching. Have a nice life. And peace out. Peace.